Oh, hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just checking out this wicked cool crustacean. Oh, yeah, and I'm going over today's science file. In today's science file, it says... How do you build a hermit crab habitat? Well, that's a wicked cool question, so hey, try this. You will need a container, some beach sand, a few water and food dishes, some crab soil, a plastic plant. Okay, so you say you want to make your very own perfect habitat for your very own pet hermit crab, but you can't find the perfect video because YouTube is just loaded with crap videos, which mostly land on the front page. Oh, I just insulted everybody on the front page. Okay, so guess what? I'm going to show you how to make your very own perfect crab attack. Yeah, crab attack, because I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect habitat for your very own pet hermit crab. Crab attack. Hey, people, it's no better when we do it with celebrity couple naming. Okay, you're gonna start by getting yourself one of these five gallon pet holders. Then you're gonna add beach sand to just half of the container. On the other half, you're gonna get yourself some substrate. Crumble it up and fill out the other side. Now I'm gonna add a little fake plant, you know, so our hermit crab can have a little home of his own. Now you're going to add two water dishes. One water dish you're going to put fresh water in, and in the second water dish you're going to add a sea salt water mixture. Next you're going to get a couple of seashells, and you're going to make sure that they're just slightly bigger than the current shell of your current hermit crab. Whoa, now check that out, man. We just made our very own friggin' wicked cool crab attack right at home. That's so wicked cool. Okay, so what exactly is a crustacean? And why do we have two habitats in one container? Well, hey, sit your fanny in your granny chair because I want you to take a closer look at this. Crustaceans are a group of large arthropod invertebrates with an exoskeleton around the outside of their body which must be molted as the animal grows. They usually contain 10 true legs and consist of the crabs, lobsters, crawdads, shrimp, krill, and barnacles, and have been on the earth for the past 510 million years. The hermit crab's natural environment is between the ocean and the first layer of trees in the Caribbean. This is why you have a mini beach on one side of your hermit crab enclosure. Since hermit crabs are crustaceans, they don't breathe air, but instead they breathe oxygen dissolved in water. The sea salt water dish is where your hermit crab will go to fill its shell with water so it can breathe while being on land. This is why it's so important to place your hermit crab in a warm, humid place, such as your bathroom, so it can stay well hydrated. Your second half mimics the tree layers where hermit crabs spend most of their lives. The fake, thick plant mimics where a hermit crab would make its home naturally. This is why the soil side needs to be thicker, because hermit crabs like to burrow under the soil. Your hermit crab likes leafy vegetables and dried fruits. Some people think that barnacles are actually mollusks, but in reality, barnacles are crustaceans. Inside that clam-shaped device is an arthropod with an exoskeleton with ten legs and gets oxygen from the water using gills. So now you know more about crustaceans, you know, making your very own hermit crab habitat right at home is why science is so wicked cool.